Carro. Aries, hello. This is going to be your reading for what Spirit wants you to know for September. I apologize that it's late, but I was not well, and I'm feeling much better now. All right, let's find out what Spirit wants you to know for September. For my Aries friends, please. What Spirit wants them to know, the best message that they can use and take forward, move forward with. Ask your soul. Your soul knows the way. Another yet again card about spiritual journey. It's card number 16 that reduces to a 7. So there's something that you may feel differently about than how your inner being feels. And there could be a um, something, a miscommunication about those things. Let's go with it. Read it. Wise questions create... Sorry about that. Wise questions create wise answers something you have asked for will soon turn up in your life every time you request something you plant a seed in your quantum field of vibrational reality where it begins to grow and move toward you this is how we create and expand consciousness asking it the first step in any creation it only needs to be about 10 percent of the creative process but somehow most of us make it about 90 percent if we don't see any evidence of desires are coming into existence, we keep asking. This holds us in a place where the answers can't be heard. What you desire is on its way. You only need to ask once. It doesn't matter whether this is out loud or in your mind because the universe interprets vibration, not words. Allow yourself to dream about the kind of life you desire and then write down your dream. Try sprouting seeds to add to your salads and cooking. They are nutritious, delicious, and full of life force. Listen to what you talk about. What seeds are you sowing for your future life? So are you telling old stories? Are you walking around telling old stories or focusing on the past? There's something definitely here about letting go of that. Ask your soul. Your soul knows the way. What is it you desire? What is it that you want? Do you want money? Do you want love? Do you want fairness? Do you want justice? Do you want kindness? What's happening for you? Transformation. Look at that. Holy Hannah Banana. This is from the uh, Sacred Language of Light, Transmissions for Your Soul. And this one here is from Work Your Light Oracle. Okay, so let's read this transformation card. Ask your soul, and in doing so, there will be a transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing coming your way. This is card number 106, yet again, which reduces to a 7. Very spiritual journey, just like Sagittarian reading. Yeah. All right. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. You are not who you were a year ago. And who you will soon be you are in between emerging half risen half falling keep doing the work you are transforming you will look back at this time with awe so much is happening in your inner world and within your cells it's time to release old ways of being that have kept you in fight flight or freeze mode to choose a new way of being where trauma is not a driving force old childhood patterns this is about are you in heartbreak over something or are you in trauma over something? Two very different things. Old childhood patterns are rising up to be healed. As you f allow yourself to observe them and feel them without attachment, they loosen their grip and fall away. You are being called to find new ways to self-soothe. Saturn and the Black Madonna and the African goddess Oshun influence this card. Saturn represents destruction and transformation. The Black Madonna represents the underground and all that has been cast aside. Ocean represents the tender love of the original mother. A rethreading is happening, healing at the deepest of levels. While you are in this phase, don't put yourself under pressure to perform. You may need to review your relationship with your body, perhaps even shifting your diet or exercise regime, uh, or getting energetic healing support. You may also need to consider some kind of emotional support as issues from your childhood may come up to be healed. You are deeply, deeply loved. 
This is a, an activation in your soul. That's why they're asking you to ask your soul, I believe. All right, let's pull a card for here. We're going to pull from the uh, Sacred Destiny Oracle. Denise Lynn. What card do we have here, please? What card do we have here? We have wisdom. Oh, you're coming into a new wisdom and understanding. This is beautiful. Transformation. Ask your soul. There's absolute transformation and wisdom coming. So you've been carrying a bunch of swords around, things that you know as truth and, and knowledge and all that sort of stuff. And now they're taking you to a place where those swords are actually going to equal wisdom in your life. That's beautiful. This is a powerful reading, my Aries friends, because... When, when you get to a place where you can put words to everything you've been through and why it's happened, that's when you become the wise sage. You become the teacher that can help others through what they're going through. Beautiful. Depths of the sea. The surface of the sea can be choppy and turbulent, but when you sink down into the depths and surrounding surroundings are completely different often there is a stillness below in other cases the surface of the sea might be placid yet down in the liquid blue are a myriad of creatures and a very variety of seaweed a vast community of creature is eating mating giving birth and dying what we see on the sea's surface has very little to do with what is occurring below things are not as they seem Look beneath the surface in your life. For example, you might feel that you aren't making progress on a particular project, yet beneath the surface, things are happening. Or you might be going through a stormy cycle. This card is letting you know that even though the surface of your life might be a bit rocky or wobbly, in a deeper place, all is well, and serenity and peace are emerging. Things that maybe seem challenging will later be revealed to be beneficial. That's what I was talking about with the swords. The swords in tarot are about wisdom and knowledge. And we carry them around with us like the seven of swords. We're leaving behind two swords and carrying five with us. Well, he can't take them all with him because he doesn't have enough wisdom to understand what those other two swords are about. All right, let's pull a flower of life card. You are all stepping into a beautiful new way of understanding what you've been through and why. Flower of Life card, please, for my Aries friends. Flower of Life card. Be peace. Look at that. It's something about being peace. Like this was about peacefulness. Ask your soul in meditation is about peacefulness. Deep healing at a cellular level is about peace. Love is beyond thoughts, feelings, and emotion. It is a state of being, an expression of all fully experienced by being in each moment. Don't think about being in the moment, just be in each moment. Be the courageous, loving being you are. Step out of the shadows of your past. All that matters is what you do in each moment. Make today the best day of your life by deciding your life is yours to live in whatever way is meaningful to you. You brought yourself to this life and you are responsible for the quality of it. No more pulling and pushing what you like or don't like. No more resistance, for this causes suffering and pain. From this moment, you can choose to be at peace and in the flow of love, no matter what is going on around you. Today, the life you have truly wanted begins. Wow, look at that wisdom coming to you through this. Understanding the present moment is incredibly, incredibly powerful. Wow, that's beautiful. Ask your soul. It knows the way towards transformation, and it's all about bringing you to a place of wisdom and understanding about what you've been through. Let's get some tarot on this, please. Transformation card. What you got for us with this transformation card in the tarot? Whoops. I'm having a hard time shuffling today, guys. Not sure what that's about, but... So juggling money, juggling emotions, juggling jobs, juggling people, trying to find balance. I think you're going through a lot or you have been going through a lot and there's a lot of mental energy going on. I think there's uh, some rest that's needed for sure. You could be juggling between two things, jobs, people, family and a relationship, whichever the two things may be. There's a lot going on and you feel the need for a break is what I'm getting. <laughs> you feel the need for a break. Look at that. And the four swords is here. Taking a rest or a holiday, a vacation. 
asking the divine for clarity, maybe just getting away. Someone needs to get away from all of what they've been juggling. Time to think, time to be, time to transform what? Your spirituality, time to transform. This is about traditional viewpoints. Perhaps there's something about uh, traditional viewpoints for you with this cellular healing underneath coming into your cells that you may very well change what you believe spiritually you may uh, anything that you've learned in the past from childhood all that sort of thing may very well be changing it's like a, in this weight in this uh, peace of mind this thing you end up with a spiritual understanding you didn't have before and it brings about an absolute brand new start you see you have everything already in your arsenal to manifest this wisdom to manifest and understand what's gone on and why but and it's divinely guided that you do we have two infinity symbols here already infinite possibilities infinite possibilities but you have the wisdom or you're coming into the wisdom about how to start this, how to be the magician in your life, how to create, not giving up. I've been through a lot. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm tired, Halo. Hey, oh my God, like I, a person can only do so much, I'm hearing someone say. And I'm like, I understand that. I do, but you're going to have the wisdom that something that you are going to start is going to bring about absolute beauty in your life not giving up do not give up on what you've created perhaps you let something go and you started to create something and you walked away but they're asking you not to give up perhaps you want to walk away from something because you feel like you need a vacation and you're juggling everything well there's aries leo sagittarius right there energy coming there's a beautiful someone that you find incredibly beautiful you could be dealing with a taurus or a fire sign such as yourself, Virgo, or Scorpio here. This is about somebody who will take an ace of wands and put it at their hand and move forward with it. This is the creator, that match that, you know, you can strike the, the, the ideas. You can strike the match and it's like phew, something is lit. This is the person who goes and ignites the situation, starts the, the new company, starts the new uh, healing in the family, starts all of this sort of stuff, and then puts people in place to take care of it so they can go and start the new thing again. Did you ever think that the things that you start are not supposed to have your hands in that pie for the rest of your life? Perhaps you need 10 pies, you need to start one, get people in there to take care of it, then do your next thing. You see, I think this is about somebody who has so many ideas that you don't know how to use or utilize or transform your life into the ideas you have. I want to let you know that I do personal growth coaching and also business coaching. If you would like to have some, the link will be down below in the, the description so that I can help you step into this energy of the magician. Sometimes, really, it's just about looking at something from a different perspective. It's that simple. So let's get a postcard from Spirit, what they might have to say to us today. This one? Okay. Dearest you, even though life seems now to be moving full steam ahead, it's a time to rest. Yep. Allow ideas to flow through you and take root in your heart before they reach your mind. Honor this process by becoming empty to allow for inspiration and the magic of dreaming. You might feel lazy or unproductive. <laughs> you might not want to do this, right? Yeah, but in the feeling lazy and in the unproductive, but we know better. Just as sleep is a way to recharge before renewal, so are you in a time for dreaming. In this powerful process of co-creation, your soul merges with spirit in a profound, profound way. So you can re receive your music directly from source and play your part in the symphony of life. You are being invited to bear witness to the great creation and tune in to what others can hear. We have so many dreams to share with you in the sacred and the invisible. Don't worry, we will wake you when it's time to return with a new dream. No need to set an alarm clock, loving you always. Ask your soul. Your soul knows the way. There's something that's calling you and has been calling you for a little while. It's time to step into it. I love you guys. I hope this resonates. I'll talk to you again soon. Blessings.